The Master Race wins again. Phil Spencer says we will ship games on Steam once again. Phil Spencer states, I look at Steam today. It's an incredible growth trajectory. It's a massive force in gaming, a positive force. I think it will be bigger in years from now. Uh, sorry, a year from now than it is today. And five years later, it will be bigger again. I look at Valve as an important independent software vendor for us on Windows. They are a critical part of gaming success on Windows. I don't think Valve's hurt by not having our first party games on their store right now. They're doing incredibly well. We will ship games on Steam again. So here it is, Phil Spencer stating that they are possibly going to ship games on Steam. However, it does not they don't really go into detail on what games we will be getting. Because uh, later on in the article, Phil says, I don't think they'll be, I think they're doing fine without Quantum Break in their store. So what I'm guessing from this is that we're possibly not going to get some of the big titles, like maybe the Gears 4 is not going to be on there. You know, the Forts is not going to be on there. The Halo 6 isn't going to be on there. But we'll probably get like Halo Wars, ReCore, stuff like that we're probably going to get on Steam. Because I'm going to be honest with you, Windows <laughs> Window Store is fucking terrible. You know, I don't need to go into this because everybody is going into it, but I'm going to say it just for fuck's sake. You know, you're limited to uh, one video card. You can't use SLI. You can't record your, your gameplay. Uh, you can't use things like MSI Afterburner to show off you, you know, your percentage of use or your heat. Um, you can't uh, run anything above uh, 4K60. You can't go anything above 60 frames a second. You know, and, and a lot of times, a lot of these games that are from the Windows Store are not optimized at all properly. You have no VSync option. Like, there's a lot of limitations to why people are not fucking with the Microsoft Store right now, you know, on Windows. You know, they were never that good. They've always been kind of shitty. I do think Phil Spencer wants to do the right thing here. I do, but they have a lot of work to do. That store is a goddamn disaster. <laughs> and if they're going to be putting games on Steam, I I'm going to Steam. I think we all go we all rather go to Steam than go to Microsoft. You know, it's it's not that it's a, a big deal going to another store. That's not the issue. The issue is the whole thing, the whole reason why most of us are on PC, the freedom. You know, we want the freedom. So that's like a big deal, you know, like the fact that Windows 10 store at the moment has so many restrictions to their games. It's no wonder that it's doing terrible. It's no wonder nothing but bad things are out there about it. It's no wonder nobody wants to use it. You know, I, I have no problem using another storefront. You know, Steam is awesome. I have games on GOG. I have games on Origin. I have games on Uplay, you know, and honestly, those stores, you know, a lot of people give those stores a hard time. I've never had a problem with Origin ever. I've got maybe five or six games on Origin. Never had an issue. You play. I got maybe three or four games on there. Maybe two or three. Maybe not three or four. Maybe two or three. Never had a problem with it. I mean, it updates every time you pop it on. Every time you turn it on, it fucking updates. But other than that, it, it runs fine. I never get kicked out of my games. There's no restrictions. There's no limitations. The games run fine. I can record my gameplay. <clears throat> Excuse me. I can more record my gameplay. No problem. So I know some people have issues with those stores. I just don't know why. Something like Windows Store, though, however, I feel is a big deal. That's that's something that's got to be fixed or completely get we got to get rid of that but i hope they fix it i don't want to see them go because they're bringing all their fucking games to pc and if i can if i have to go through them to get certain games on pc fine but i want the games to work i want the games to be optimized i want the games to have the options that every other pc game has like it should be no excuse to why this doesn't have vsync but you know every other game on steam does but this one doesn't like it doesn't make sense so if Microsoft really wants to do this PC push that they're obviously really, really reaching for, then this is what they need to do. I think a lot of us know what we want, especially PC gamers. We know what we want, we know what we're used to, and we know what we expect. Yeah, we have high demands, but it's just been that way for a long time. A lot of PC gamers are like that. You know, we're, we're on this platform for a reason, you know, and games that come to this platform know what they're getting themselves into. Microsoft say they want to get back into PC gaming. They already know what it's like over here. So they need to fucking fall in line. You know what I'm saying? You need to fall in line. But yes, games coming to Steam, that's a very, very good thing for me. I know a lot of other people are happy about that as well. Um, I am, I guess you could say I'm a Steam fanboy. I do prefer Steam over anything. It's just simple. All my stuff is integrated. I got the mobile app. Uh, you know, I get notifications when things go on sale. For me, you know, even though it is a DRM client, for me, Steam is just the smarter, more convenient option, plus the sales you get, you know, it's just, it's unbeatable, it's unbeatable. I will, however, get games on other platforms if the price is right, like, I will get something on, you know, GOG or, um, you know, Origin or Uplay if I'm saving 10, 20, 30 bucks, don't get me wrong, I absolutely will do that, 
but I usually prefer Steam. So I do want Microsoft's games. I will ultimately have to get them wherever they are if I want to play them. However, I think it's not fair for them to have such restrictions on it. And then they say they want to get into the PC market and want to be a part of the PC world. And you know what I mean? They, they, they know they fucked up. Hopefully they're going to work on it. I have a feeling they will. But, you know, still, I'm glad that, you know, we're probably getting some games on Steam. Let me know what you guys think. This is Demon Ralph signing out.